guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to another haul i did say to you the other day or then a few videos past that i wasn't going to do a big one because i'm basically going to save up for a dehydrator i did and i bought one and i had to return it um i was really really excited right and I briefly i'm sorry i'm going to bore you with this one but um it was 200 pounds and the dimension said it's going to be like 43 by 42 by 40 when actually arrived it was literally like 30 31 by 32 it was tiny it was basically the same footprint as my other dehydrator that i want to kind of move on and it was just really really small smaller than my little oven and it's like well that's a bit disappointing i know you're talking about like 13 centimeters but this is kind of a big difference like one side and then the other side this is quite a lot of space wasted so without further hesitation i had to return this and i'm now looking out and trying to find my alternatives again it's really hard but anyway i'm not going to bore you with this one but i decided to basically spend the money and do another shop again i did the multiple shops popping in pick up some bits as you do anyway and i keep forgetting to say to you obviously i pick up other bits as i do but i forget to sort of mention them because i just you know when you just pop into the shop and you pick something one of the preps and they just kind of get put on the shelf and forgotten about so i will try to combine my little shops and do your bigger ones just to get a better idea so one of the things that we did, we popped into Primark to pick up some clothing for Baba and I found, well my husband actually saw some candles, um, two pounds for a, a pillar candle, which is, I know is, we're coming out of the winter now, but I think that was a really good price. And um, I don't know if it says you the, the burning time, but oh, 100 hours. So I think because they fit in our lanterns quite well, two pounds, that's pretty good. So I bought, I think about six of them and I'm pretty happy. So I know we've got few hand candles already and no one knows they last forever it's not a big deal do you know what i mean so i've got a few of them in there and they can just sit there and i forget about them until next time right also the gas refills for the lighters i picked a couple of them up they're two pounds each and then we bought some the lighter fuel which is the 100 milliliters for 175 so this one is the refill the gas lighters you've got the little um spout thing there to fill those up and this one is for like traditional zipper lighters or basically to light anything else you need to light and catch fire quickly. So I've got a few of them, not a few, three. <laughs> so that's out of the way. Okay, so I popped into Tesco's. Um, I did my usual, only picked up um, three of the porridge, which was still 70 pence. Uh, some fusilli pasta, three kilos, four pounds. Picked up steaks, uh, street steak and gravy. They're still 185 I found this, not found it, I probably had this before, but I never bought it. But it's a Thai green curry paste. I know I can make my own Thai green, Thai? <laughs> Thai green curry, but to have a paste which is um, lasted quite a while as well. I thought it wasn't too bad and I wanted to give it a go. It was one pound eighty for uh, 200 grams jar. And don't forget, you dilute this with like coconut cream, whatever you're doing. So you only need a couple of tablespoons technically to get you a meal. I picked up some more couscous. I've mentioned the couscous before and I've been buying this, but I kind of, again, stopped it, been concentrating on like rice. And yes, I bought some rice, I bought about five or six kilos, but couscous, I love couscous. And I just bought, um, I think I bought four packets. They're 90p, this was only 500 grams, but nonetheless, um, it's something I keep forgetting to look at and buy. And I've decided to, I need to, because it lasts pretty much for forever and um, I love it. Um, I bought some more of the, beans i did tell you before i like them i tried them they're 80 pence and the full i picked up a couple of tins um sweet corn still 50p which i'm rather happy so we only got six again just to keep the topped up uh i bought some salt because i did the preserving video the other day and i was going to do some preserving lemons salted lemons and i actually realized i know um i don't kind of use this salt as a cooking salt but going forward when I'm looking into finding other ways of doing things and sorting things, I need more salt. And it has gone up a lot since last time um, I bought it. So it's 175 for one and a half kilo. As they do £2.30 for like three kilos, I think. But it changes like all the time. So anyway, every time I see it, I just pick up a bag and put this away. As I said, rice is still 48 pence here. I know some of you mentioned you've seen some of 45p. Um, it's not changed for us, unfortunately, yet. Whether they will or not, I don't know. A um, couple of little kiddish juices. They've gone up now to 25p from 20p. I normally get them from Lidl. But again, if I'm popping into Tesco's, then I'll pick up a couple anyway. 
Um, it's only a small one from Tesco's, guys. And a bit of a, bit of a shocker, but tomato ketchup, right? They literally pretty much had this. The big one, this is 890 grams, 800 millilitres. That was £1.25. And they had Heinz, and that was that. There was no smaller options of this. There is no cheap versions. It was just that and Heinz. So go eat your heart out. And the bargain of the day, I thought initially, hold on, hear me, is the Honey Hoops, okay? They're pound, which is really good value, I think, for well, this 375 grams for cereals. And it's one of those things, okay? You know, we said I buy in the porridge for breakfast and I buy some of the wheat biscuits, but I want to have a variety because my child likes porridge, but she doesn't like wheat biscuits. However, Honey Hoops is great. And I thought, again, it's the hole in my pantry of something like this. They have a year's date, which is absolutely brilliant. And they will last past that, um, providing obviously you keep them, you know, they might get a bit soft, but again, they'll easily last past six months, if not a year past the date. Absolutely fine. But it's, yes, it's a gap in my pantry. It's the breakfast cereal. So I'm like, okay, let's buy some. So I bought about five, I think five or six of the honey hoops. And then I saw those, they did the wheat hoes. Normally they're, I think, Oh, forgive me, I think they're £3 or £3.50. I'm like, don't, don't bloody think so. Anyway, they had them reduced at £1.38. This is the chocolate and orange flavour. Yes, it's more than uh, the Tesco's ones, but um, it's a chocolate option. And I haven't seen the a budget version of the chocolate for that sort of price. So the one thirty eight is pretty good. So I bought a few of those. So this was... A bargain I think at the time so this kind of summarized the Tesco shop um, next thing I popped in to Lidl as you do to check out the prices see what's happening you know need to be in touch I've not been in Lidl for goodness couple of weeks um, yeah pretty sure it was about a couple of weeks at least anyway they had some seeds so I've bought a lot of seeds last time I went in there they didn't have the cheap 29p the basic seeds and they did they did this time. Uh, sneakily, you might find, they had a row of the front, like cardboard thingy, and all the cheap seeds, literally, it was another row behind, like another cardboard staging, if you wish, all the way behind, with all the number one seeds, which is the 29p seeds, which you wouldn't see unless you kind of be a bit sneaky and look, and I did, so I got myself a lot of seeds. And yes, we had this debate on the messaging last time, some of you don't agree with buying cheap seeds, I don't have a problem with this. I've been growing for over 10 years. I've been buying little seeds. I've been buying cheap seeds. I do not have a problem. Again, gardening is a very personal thing. So to me, they work. I don't have, absolutely do not have a problem. So I bought myself a few of the herbs. I got some radishes. I got cucumbers because I've got an allotment now. I kind of suddenly thought the space that I have, what I used to have and what I buy, is just not going to cut it. So I kind of need to have extras. So for 29p, um, I just bought myself some cucumbers, some radish, not radishes, some beetroots, some flowers. I did buy some marigolds. I love them and they're good for um, biodiversity in the garden. I've got some basil and some lettuce. Basically the things that are normally quite expensive to buy. I've got that anyway. So, and I've got some beans and dills and cucumbers and they worked really well last year. Um, all the cucumbers got a bit dried because of the bad weather but the deal worked really well anyway and some french beans anyway i'm moving on sorry i've got my green fingers going so right okay so next thing um some tomato passata <laughs> there was literally like seven or eight of them on the shelves 49 pence so i bought four um all this tomato craze thing kids you know created like a panic people have panic then i obviously told you it's going to happen so the shelves are not as stocked with certain things like tomato soups are missing again where I live it might be different where you are but again um, it happens in the area it might come to your area it might not but hey um, again another thing I thought about tomato juice I used to love tomato juice I used to like to make a bloody Mary and then when I got pregnant I couldn't stand the stuff and I haven't had tomato juice until literally very recently and I thought oh I might not be able to get tomato juice what can I do with that bloody Mary well well, I can do a lot with, I can drink something else, but what if I really want one? So I thought, okay, let's get some tomato juice. And they actually they had some in stock because they're quite often, I find in Lidl, they only have like orange juice or apple juice. 
and I don't have tomato juice. And I have this this time and I'm happy. 99p. A little juices used to be so, so much cheaper. But 99 pence, it's got a year shelf life. I got five and I will be buying this because whilst I can still enjoy drinking it and actually have um, desire to drink it, I'll just stock up. Because again, it could be used in cooking as well. So, right. Again, one of those things when I tell you, I buy the same thing in the different shops, but I call it a research, okay? <laughs> so, Choco Hoops from Lidl. There's a bigger pack, they're bigger than that. Uh, it's £1.29. And then I have a honey version, which is basically like a Tesco's ones. It's a 99p. Okay, so I think grammage wise, I don't actually know. 375, the same grams, just different packaging. I'll see what they taste like. I don't know. They don't look particularly as colourful in here as they do there, but we'll give them a try. Right. So, tomato and herb sauce. It's now gone up to 47 pence. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were like 30 something. I can't remember now, but certainly quite a big increase from them. 100%. Interesting thing I found new. It was a, a Polish week kind of thing today. They have two of those jars, right? And this one is lechos, which is pepper pieces in tomato sauce. And I'm looking through their jar and they look like a proper cut peppers in tomato sauce. Like they don't look like too stewed, they look pretty good. So £1.49, I'm like, I'm having some because we had shortages in the shop of peppers. And I'm like, yeah, let's give that a go. Um, something new, something different, but I'm thinking that that's good. I'll give that a try. And this one is, um, says Ajva, if I pronounce that correctly. It's Mao red pepper paste. So I'm like, okay, I've tried different sort of pepper paste from different countries, different things. And it's kind of nice as like a sauce to add on to the pasta sauce or put in the bruschetta. And again, that was I think 129. So I bought a couple, give those ones a go. And if they're yummy, then I'll get some. The date is end of 25, so the dates are good as well. And of course, they'll probably last past that as well anyway. Um, again, we have some bread flour. Little haven't had bread flour for uh, weeks. When I saw this and I said to my husband, <gasps> bread flour. And as a woman, they go, yeah, yeah, I've been waiting for this for weeks. So we all know. Um, again, they had six left. So, excuse the doorbell. So they had the six of them left. So I've got myself three and I left three for somebody else. No, I just needed three. So anyway, um, moving on. So this thing as well. If you haven't bought them before, they are... Uh, tomato, basically it's a roasted tomato um, passata type thing, but it tastes totally different. It's got like the rich, deeper flavour of the tomatoes, and there's a big jar, 570 grams. It's pound 50, or pound 49, sorry, but the year is 2027. I've bought them before, um, there's never really a lot of them in there, but um, I bought a couple, and I'm really, really pleased with that. Another thing, I bought some cold and flu, again, it's 169, I don't remember how, how much that was anyway, before, but we've gone through quite a few of them because we've been poorly for a while. I have my stash, but my imminent stashes ran out, believe it or not, so go on more of them. Um, bread, again, I'm trying to show you the non preppers items as well, just to get an idea for you guys in state for price. So the multigrain farmhouse bread, they used to be like 89 pence, it's now £1.25. Um, I bought some, I used to buy them before it was like a quick breakfast stuff, but for some reason just stopped. They've gone up a price, it's Pano Chocolate, which is eight of them. Again, they used to be 89 pence, they're now £1.15. So I bought two packs of that, and then I have the brioche rolls, chocolate chip brioche. You've got eight of them and they're 125. They're absolutely yummy, but again, there's quite a big price increase. Right. I picked up some vegetable oil and I don't buy normally don't like vegetable oil. Not say so I don't like it, guys. I just choose I've been choosing not to cook with it. I just used to cook with olive oil for like pretty much the majority of my life. But I did tell you if the olive oil keeps going up, I will stop buying olive oil and I'll start cooking with vegetable oil. And what do you know? So, olive oil now, £4.29 from Lidl. It's only gone up to £3.99 from £3.69 like four weeks ago. It's now £4.29. That's pretty much another 10% increase. Um, I haven't bought this one. I just put this up there as a reminder because 
I refuse to pay this now. I've got few of them in my stockpile. And I think if I see some on the deal like I did at Asda before, which they're going to have like 375, I'll pick a few up, but I'm certainly not paying £4.25. So hence I bought two of the vegetable oils. I've got like a 20 litre sunflower oil, so I gotta start using this. It's been sitting in my duck room for ages, and I think I'm gonna start using this up and well hope for the best really. Right, next thing. Again, I'm quite intrigued with this one, is again from the Polish thing, is a beef vegetable stew. Okay, it's 1.99, and it's basically a big jar, okay? This one is 800 grams. Um, I'm thinking it's like amazing. The date on it is, again, end of 25, pretty much bearing on it, uh, knocking on the 2026. I think that's good, but something with me, this could feed like three people easily for two pounds. I think it's great, I'm gonna give this a go. And I've got the pork one, and I've got the beef one, so I'm gonna give them a try. And hopefully they're yummy. Again, I've never seen this in Lidl before. So hopefully they're bringing up sort of new things to sort of, you know, just change our, the prepping thing. Just have some different varieties to sort of try out and have different things stocked in our pile. So, yeah. Right, okay. Beer. We normally don't show the alcohol purchases as such, but um, the beer now gone through the roof. Like stupid, stupid prices now. Like Stella or any beer is gone up through the roof. And... My husband spotted this, we bought this ages ago, and he said it was quite pleasant. Considering the, like, when you're buying the shop, okay, pack of four beers, it's cost you, I don't know, around five pounds, I think somewhere like four pounds, fifty or whatever, depending on what it is that you buy, and if you maybe get a deal if you're lucky, but three pounds fifty-two for four. So, that's pretty good, and I'm pretty sure this is really not going to really last that long. So, we picked up a couple, he's going to remind himself, if he really likes them still <laughs> and if it is as good as he remembers then we'll pick up some more so next thing again here we are stew steak little it used to be at the same price as tesco's and it's now one pound 99 it literally every part of their meals or the meat stuff goes up every week or so as we already established so i picked up a couple because well it tastes really good and i know it's only going to be going up so it's what do you do and by mistake, I picked up, picked up, <laughs> picked up, uh, minced beef and onion, 175. I didn't want this. I wanted that, but I just clearly didn't look. Just put this in my trolley. And I must say, every time, right? Every time, all the tins are fine. Picked up the stewed steak. They all bloody dirty. Literally every time, it's like somebody just shaking some crap on them constantly. Just every time, every time. I kid you not. I don't know, I'm gonna clean them, and I do every time before I put them away, but why? Why is there shit all over my tin all the time? It's just weird. Anyway, right, cookies. Bought four packs of cookies. They've gone down actually from 59p to 53p. So, which is kind of okay, I suppose, make up for some of it. And that's that, I've got four of them. So, this is kind of summarizes my Tesco's and Lidl shop. And I did pop into Asda, and because we wanted to pick up some steak, we bought steak from Little, I think, last time, and the prices again were like stupendous, and the choices were really, really bad. I refused to pay eight pounds for steak, like one steak, eight quid. I don't think so, but again, because uh, my husband not feel really well, then of course the to him is the best food for bloke is a bit of steak and a bit of potato, so we had to buy some steak. So we had to pop into Asda. So we picked up a a British the Aberdeen Angus ram steak. So there were two for ten or six pounds for the steak and it's 320 grams so that's that and I wanted to try right I do like a steak I like a decent steak but um, I wanted to try the Just Essentials steak it's two pounds 25 it's only 170 grams so technically like do you know what I mean like you could just might as well buy this but I'm not a big meat eater I would never really finish the whole steak if I eat it so I just wanted to try this and see whether I know it's smaller, but whether I can make it taste as good as this steak by just flash frying this. Basically, experiment for me, but here we are. You know the prices. And whilst we were there, mushrooms go with the steak. So I picked them up on a reduced section, 68 pence from one pound for 250 grams. So that's that. And while I was there, I picked up a couple of bits of porridge at 70p, penny pasta at four pounds for three kilos couple of long range rices and I know you're wondering why would you buy rice here rice there 
I don't bloody know guys, I just do it. I just told you that in one of the videos before. It's like a compulsion. I can't just like, let's just buy 20 kilos in there. No, I'm gonna buy some here, some there, and some there, and that's what I do. Subconsciously, it just, just what happens. That's what I do, so that's what happens. And last thing, finally, I find this on deal. I did tell you I refused to pay £5.60 for Schweppes, like taking a piss. Um, they're on a deal of £4 for 12 little things, so I could live with that because it is the best. It is the best. I've been buying it as the one for £2. It's nice, but you just can't beat it. £5.60, absolutely not. I'll drink the shit from Asda, but £4, I'll have some. Thank you very much. So, here we are. This is, guys, summarises my somewhat, wouldn't say the small shop, but a prepper shop anyway. So, um, yes, we'll hopefully you find this at all entertaining or enjoyable or interesting or whatever else you reason you watch this video is for. Um, don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.